Hi, this is Mallory with IMG, and today we're going to be talking about campaigns. Now, campaigns have a ton of different definitions between Parda, Salesforce, and probably your marketing team. A good way to think about campaigns is to differentiate Parda campaigns with Salesforce campaigns, even though they overlap quite a bit. A Parda campaign, by definition, is a prospect's or visitor's first touch. That means if someone brand new comes to your website and you have that website tracking code, the first touch with a Pardot cookied asset would be the name of that campaign attached to the website tracking code. And then when that visitor converts, that's their source campaign or their Pardot campaign. So Pardot campaigns are first touch. Salesforce campaigns, on the other hand, are multi-touch. A single prospect can be part of multiple Salesforce campaigns. So while it can be a little confusing, in this video, hopefully it'll make it a little more clear. The thing we'll want to do is go over to the Pardot Campaigns tab. And you'll notice in our specific org, there's no option to create a Pardot campaign. And the reason for that is because we have connected campaigns enabled, meaning that Salesforce is our master record holder when it comes to campaigns. Also meaning all campaigns need to be created in Salesforce. If you do not have this sync enabled, you should be able to see two different sections within this tab. One is going to be your Pardot campaigns, and the other are going to be your connected or your Salesforce CRM campaigns. If you have the option to create a Pardot only campaign, go ahead and click that Add Pardot Campaign button. You can name it, you can add a value to it in terms of cost, and then you would hit Create. From there, you can use it with any of your Pardot marketing assets. If you have connected campaigns with Salesforce, you'll want to create all of your campaigns within the Salesforce campaigns object, which is this tab right next to Pardot campaigns. Over on the right hand side, you'll hit new. You'll want to name your campaign. And the key here is to mark it as active. Active campaigns will push to Pardot and will be able to be used for your marketing assets. So I'll put a cost here so we can evaluate some ROI also and I'll hit save. And within a few minutes, I should be able to see this test campaign in my Pardot campaigns tab. So now let's talk about the Pardot Salesforce sync settings. If we go over to the Pardot settings tab, you'll wanna click on connectors on the left-hand side. Once you get to your connectors, you'll wanna go over to the right-hand side, edit your Salesforce connector, and up on the top, you're going to see a tab for campaigns. So as you can see, all of our boxes here are checked, meaning that we have a full sync with our Salesforce campaigns. If you also wanted to do a full sync, just make sure all of these check boxes are checked. You can split it up by different campaign record types. If you only want certain campaigns in Pardot, you can also pick it by creation date and have a cutoff there. So not all of your current Salesforce campaigns move into Pardot. Once you're happy with your settings, you'll go ahead and hit save, and then you're ready to go. Let's see if my campaign has loaded in. Yes, so we can see my campaign here has loaded in up at the top. It was created by me right now. And now this campaign, again, is ready to use with my Pardot assets. So you'll notice as you go through Pardot, several assets that you're going to create require a campaign to be chosen. So it's important that you stay up to date with your campaigns and not just shove everything into a single campaign because then you're missing out on all of the potential ROI data. Another cool feature with using connected campaigns is that you can update the campaign member status within Salesforce using Pardot automation. Within your Salesforce campaign, you can set up different campaign member statuses. The default ones are sent and responded, but you can add more as you wish. So to automatically update campaign member statuses through Pardot Automation, you'll want to go over to the Prospects tab. I'm going to be using a segmentation rule for this example, but you can also use um, automation rules. You can use completion actions for this. But I think segmentation rule would be a good fit because it's a one-time change that I'm trying to make. I'll add a new segmentation rule. And from here, this is where I'm going to set my criteria for those who I want to update their status. So let's say we had some members of the campaign that at some point in my engagement program were tagged with a certain tag. And I wanna automatically update their campaign member status based on this tag. 
And here under Actions, there's an option to add to CRM campaign. And once I find my test campaign, this is where I can select their new status. So we have sent, responded, and connected. If you added additional campaign member statuses on the Salesforce side, you can refresh the data and they'll show here. So maybe these are all the people that had responded to my campaign. So I wanna change their campaign member status to responded. And then you would just run segmentation and they would be updated in your Salesforce campaign. You can also change campaign member statuses through completion actions, automation rules, and even directly within the Engagement Studio. Changing campaign member statuses automatically really helps you when you're looking at a Salesforce campaign with campaign members report. So you can see a high level overview of your campaigns and the members within those campaigns, the actions that they're taking, where they just sent the email or maybe they opened or they clicked the email. You can update these statuses automatically and show that within your Salesforce campaign. So that's all there is to it with campaigns might be a little bit of a different definition than you're used to. But again, a great way to think about it is Parda is that first touch, that source campaign. And Salesforce is a multi-touch system where a prospect can be part of multiple campaigns at once. You can connect your campaigns with Parda and Salesforce, or you can choose to keep them separate. You can also update campaign member statuses automatically through Parda automation. Thank you.